think one of the things that uh, people in the white church, I know that in our community, you know, for example, I have this community group that I have at our church, and uh, there's about eight or nine of us that were meeting this last week, and across the board, everybody's resonating with this. And I think collectively, though, I mean, one person articulated it. What do I do? Like, now what? And, um, and there's a hesitancy of not doing anything, doing the wrong thing, what's the right thing, and the knowing that it's going to be messy, knowing it's going to be work, but what suggestions or just insight would you speak to somebody that's, that's where they're at? Every Christian husband knows that if you end up in a conflict with your wife and you don't want to say the wrong thing, if you don't take a risk and end up doing nothing, you definitely are communicating that you're doing nothing. Mm -hmm. And it can be perceived as, I don't care. But if you take the risk to do something, even if you bumble, you can work through the bumbling part. But to do nothing definitely means no progress is going to be made in that relationship. Mm -hmm. Same thing here. We're going to have to take some risk and go through the hard, uncomfortable parts because it's worth it in the body of Christ. And it's worth it in terms of showing our love to neighbor out in the world so that they can see a distinct difference in the power that resides within us, the power of Jesus's resurrection. So you can't, we can't sit back and say, I'm fearful to do anything because I don't want to be perceived as wrong. You're going to be perceived as wrong and you're going to make mistakes on some things. This, this is something we've been dealing with in our country for more than 400 years. Now, it's going to depend on people's level of com comfortability and their consciousness, in t or their conscious, excuse me, in terms of what happens next. Some are going to be activists out there protesting and they're going to take all their chips and put them in on making sacrifices to identify with justice causes and other social and economic and financial uh, helps. They might have the ability to do things with legal representation and in the health field and education fields. Yes. Um, even if you don't have the ability to take chips and put them all in, you can have the ability to be aware of these issues here. But something that people can, everyone can do is listen without being defensive. Mm. You can engage in conversations with somebody, knowing it's gonna be uncomfortable, and allow them to say, this is what you or someone like you does not get. Allow people to do that. Invite people to your home, not just your home, invite to coffee shops, Invite when you all are going hiking and, and camping, even though many of us might not care about hiking and camping, or when you're going to Navy Pier or wherever else you're going, just to be part. And along the way, these conversations might um, come up, go to their houses, stop by, participate, and say, hey, I want to enter into your life where these conversations uh, can be had. And as they're being had, the, the visceral response, the emotional response, is but that's not me personally and but don't you think this these are times to to listen and to say in meekness and gentleness and humility let me see what i can learn here lord because putting myself putting myself in the learner position communicates much love and care toward my brother or sister and i may need to learn here that that's very important to do Cool. That's very helpful. I appreciate you sharing that. 